What's up everybody, Goat Toaster 9 JJ Shankles here, back with a review video today. Today it's a comparison. Today we've got the Zion Smooth Q2. It's a pocket smartphone gimbal. And on the other hand, we also have the Feutech Vlog Pocket. Another smartphone gimbal. Small, lightweight gimbals to make your smartphone footage buttery smooth. I've done individual reviews on them, but today we're going to pit them against each other to see which one comes out on top. Which one is better at some things, which one's better at the other things. Which one's best for you, most important in this. Check the cards, I'm going to try to put some links to those individual reviews. Today we're going to get into that review. So let's get into it. So the first thing to compare is build quality with these. The Zion, I think, wins in the build quality compartment. It's mostly made of machined aluminum with this rubbery, grippy surface on the outside makes it very stable to hold. It's also a good deal heavier, not in a bad way in this case. Sometimes with full-size DSLR or mirrorless gimbals, you don't want it much heavier than it needs to be because you have to lug it around. It's actually a considerable amount of weight you're holding extended out in front of you. This, it's lightweight and you're only having a smartphone in it, but it's hefty enough to make it very stable feels very well machined. The Feutech Vlog Pocket, on the other hand, is lighter weight, which, again, not exactly a bad thing, but in this case, I do, it does make it feel a little bit cheaper. It's mostly plastic on the outside with a few aluminum parts. Even though it's plastic, it hasn't gotten any scuffs or scratched. I'm pretty careful with gear that I use, so it's not gonna get dropped a bunch. There's a bunch of sensitive motors and calibration in here that dropping it, I don't wanna try to test it to see how well it is but the plastic hasn't scratched, it's done well for what it is, and it is a little bit lighter. But build quality feels like the Zion wins this category. Next comparison is compactability, and I think the Feutech definitely wins that one. With this one, each of the axes can lock in place. There's that little snap, and you know it's in place. Unscrew here, and then it folds down. Lock it in place. It's a very compact, that's the entire gimbal. It's smaller than the size of my hand. You can put that in a bag, in a pocket, hoodie pocket, easy. Um, very compact, easy to carry around, easy to travel with, and set up very quickly. The Zion, on the other hand, doesn't win for compactability. There's no way to fold it up. Um, these little bits move around. Overall, it, it's pretty much the size it is, and you're gonna have to carry that around. But maybe compactability isn't that big of an issue for you, and both of these become great options. Next category, I want to call it charging capabilities. They both have internal batteries, both work very well. I like an internal battery. You don't want to deal with, is the battery good? Do you have to find it? If you take it out and leave it in the charger and walk away, then you don't have a battery. It's internal, it's always there. The Zion, I really like that it's USB-C. That's not a huge deal breaker, because micro USB works great but I like that it's reversible, it just goes in so well. And now all my other gadgets are starting to move to USB-C. Nikon Z6 has USB-C, my phones have been using USB-C, now I'm at the OnePlus 7 Pro as my phone, it's USB-C, so I feel, if I only need one cable to carry around, I would prefer it to be USB-C. So that's a plus for the Zion, but it's not that big of a deal for the Feutech. Next I wanted to get onto controls. Zion gets a slight edge up if you need these controls. The display, there's four LEDs with the different settings, uh, PF, L, F, and POV, to give you your four different shooting modes. And then there's a joystick right below it to allow you to control pans, you can pan left, pan right, up, down, however you want to control the camera, you give this joystick to be able to do that. Then there's a record or shoot picture button, and then there's your on-off power button down below it. So you got your three controls, very easy to use, very workable. Vlog Pocket on the hand, other hand is a lot simpler. Maybe that's a good thing for you. If you want it simple, if you want something that just stabilizes your picture, it does have modes, but you have to know what it is when you're changing between the modes. It's a double tap or triple tap type thing. You have to know what it's going to. Isn't that hard to remember? It's just different. Not better or worse, just different. There's three buttons on this one. This one does have a back trigger, so when you're holding it, your forefinger can press this trigger. You use this trigger to lock the stabilization, and then you move it to a different position, and then release, and it'll lock onto that position, and then it'll stay stable at that position, if that makes sense. But on the front, it does give you the buttons you need. There's a power button, you hold it down, it powers on and off. A long press will power on and then power off, 
and then tapping it a certain amount of times will change it between the modes internally. And then down below it, there's a start or stop video button. They both, both of these connect with Bluetooth to your smartphone, and the apps for both of them, I think, are actually really good. That's a good thing for gimbals because some gimbals can have kind of rough apps. There are just Chinese manufacturers that are making these, so if they don't put a lot of time into making a good, worthwhile app, then it really just becomes a way to stabilize your camera and you don't get to actually use the full functionality of the gimbal without a great app, which is something I really enjoy using. And then one last little feature that I thought was small at the beginning, then after using it was amazing, that goes to the Feutech Vlog Pocket, is the tripod adapter. They both come with this screw mount on the bottom, but this one comes with an actual tripod. You screw in there, and these feet pop out, and you get to set it down on any surface while you're shooting, you can set it down, you can set it to do motion time lapses while it scans across the sky, getting pictures of a skylight or sunset, sunrise type things. That's a lot of great functionality that I personally love using. I love using gimbals for that to get motion time lapses. It just, it adds a certain depth to your time lapse that a still shot that you can digitally zoom it later, but it's just definitely not the same as motion in a time lapse. It's so cool to watch. That shouldn't be that big of a deal because the Zion also comes with the screw mount on the bottom. If you had tripod adapter, which I'm sure you can find them on Amazon, you get one, screw it in there, and then you'd have the same functionality. But this, trying to set it down somewhere, it just doesn't stabilize very well. It's, it just kind of is what it is. I wish it came in the box, but a big part of our review is actually seeing them in use. So I'm going to hook them up, take them outside, get some footage. Let's see that side by side. Let's go. with where gimbals have come in 2019. These are very capable machines, all for about $100. The Feutech was right under $100, and the Zion is about $130. I'll post links to Amazon down below, and you can check those out. But overall, I think they're slightly different gimbals for different use cases. The Feutech is a lightweight, more compact, easier to use, simpler, there's less interface to it, there's just some buttons. It's mostly used for just stabilizing your shot, getting good stable shots. I don't really like that about it. It's really easy to use, gets you good shots. And it also doesn't stabilize the best every single time. Sometimes I would wobble it and it wouldn't be as stable with really aggressive jerky movements as the Zion was. This is more for a casual user, someone who wants something just to work and stabilize your footage on a smartphone. The Zion, on the other hand, this is for the user who wants everything. This is the power user. You want a joystick to be able to control things. You want the display of these four LEDs to show what mode you're in. You're gonna be using all these modes since you have them, and so you want a good controls 
you want to be able to move between them well. It's very solid metal. And since it's larger, you don't care as much about how much space it takes up in your bag because it's worth it to you. If you're the kind of person who is going to need a gimbal in your shoots, then maybe this is the gimbal for you. Where you'll do anything you need to get that great shot, this might be the one for you. If you want a gimbal that just works and fits around your schedule, fits around your space, the Feiyutech might be the one for you. But this is the one if you're gonna carry around a heavier, more bulky gimbal that's gonna do more for you. Even with aggressive movement, it was very rock steady right on. It would just hold it there. Even if it did, if I was doing real aggressive movements, it would wobble a little bit, but try its best to get it right centered, right back on the middle as fast as possible. The grippy feel, the metal construction, it feels like a more premium gimbal, but you're paying, you're paying the premium for it. It's not much money more, but maybe it's a big deal for you. Maybe you could buy a snap-on lens or an extra light for that price difference. If that's an issue for you, maybe the Feiyutech is the one for you. It's more simple. Overall, both of them I think are great gimbals. In my mind, they kind of serve a different purpose. One is more of a do-it-all, but at some costs of weight and you compactability. The other one, it works great, but it sacrifices in build quality, um, but it will be lighter weight for you and pack up even smaller. But let me know in the comments down below which is the gimbal for you, and if you have any questions about them. I have done individual reviews about both of these, and I will link those in the description down below. Also some Amazon affiliate links. If you purchase through those links, it helps the channel out at no additional cost to you. And while you're down there, like and subscribe to this channel so you don't miss out any upcoming re reviews, videos, tutorials, things like that. Thank you guys for sticking around. Hope you have an amazing day. Go Toaster out.